this is the spicy tip and literally the spicy tip of the day. We're talking peppers today. You know, you go to the store and usually go for the jalapeno that everyone talks about. But you know, gotta get a little adventurous here, you know? So here's the first one, bell pepper. Obviously there's no heat to a bell pepper, so you wanna fire roast this, so you can stuff it, you can make a sauce with it. You know, you can cut it up and saute, but you're gonna get sweetness with this bell pepper. You can get them in red, yellow, green, you name it. The next one, this is a little good one, it is the poblano, okay? The poblano, you fire roast and you can make chile rellenos with this. It's got a nice sweet flavor to it and sometimes, just sometimes, you'll get one that might bite you a little bit, but not too much. Now, when you dry this one, it turns into chile ancho. Now, this one my mom uses to make her enchilada sauce. When you use this, you wanna soak them in water because what happens is it starts like hydrating the whole thing. You take the seeds out and then you can fry it and mix it up with an awesome, awesome sauce. Next one, yes, the basic jalapeno. Now, we all know how to use this jalapeno, so I don't have to tell you too much, but next time you see the jalapeno, maybe visit its smoky friend, the chipotle. Chipotle is smoky, it's spicy, it's delicious. You can, I mean, it's so dry, but you can also get an adobo sauce, so they're nice and tender that way. But next time, just use this one. It's got a nice smoky flavor to it. Then you got the Fresno. The Fresno is spicier than the jalapeno, but it's also got this sweet flavor to it. So adventure out, get out of there and get that Fresno besides the jalapeno. Then as you get smaller and smaller and smaller, we start realizing that they get spicier and spicier and spicier. So the Serrano, this one doesn't have a lot of seeds in it, but I tell you what, if you just take the little slivers and put them on your sushi, on your carpaccio, your ceviche, whatever, you're gonna get a lot of power in this little pepper. Then we go chile de árbol. This one was always in a big bowl in the center of my table. We used to just take bites and eat tacos with it. And then when you dry it, it looks like this little shrivel thing, but it's spicier. So I just suggest you guys go to the stores, get something different, take a bite out of it. You know the heatness? Sometimes the jalapeno will be super, super spicy and sometimes it's just so mild. So you're the only person that can dictate how spicy you want something. I mean, just take a bite out of it. There's your spicy tip of the day.